it here. This is going to be as recorded, or recorded as always. It's August 25th, Tuesday, our first live trading session of the week. You know, a lot going on right now. So we want to get onto the charts and check out a lot of things in consolidation. But for you guys that are beginners, you know, first time on the, the Forex League chat, um, pretty much we're just going to go over market structure. We're going to go over all the pairs that me and Nick are looking at do some top-down analysis and try to get some entries, you know, see some potential entries on the chart. So, you know, take notes, um, take it all in. You know, if you guys are actually trading, compare your analysis, see where it aligns with ours. And if you guys have different ideas, that's completely okay. And uh, yeah, we're going to teach definitely price action. Yeah, guys. So let's see what, uh, let's see what this market has for us this week. Kind of, kind of light right now, waiting for some volume, but we're going to jump right into it cover DXY, some other, uh, you know, major pairs, major crosses, pairs that you guys should be looking at. So let's go ahead and jump right into DXY. We're gonna go to the daily time frame first. So the reason we analyze DXY, I know we say this every time, some of you guys are like, oh my God, here he goes again about DXY, but mm-hmm. it's really important. So I'm gonna keep saying it. <laughs> DXY makes up for 80% of all trade. So, you know, as this moves, you'll see a lot of major pairs like AUD USD or UJ, or even gold or GU move as this moves, right? So it is considered the reserve currency of the world. You know, it is a safe haven currency. So this, it, there's usually a lot of demand. This was super, super bullish for a long time. And then, you know, that was the overall sentiment. And then it actually transitioned recently once this broke the monthly. So once we got through this key support, we transitioned from a daily bullish trend into a daily bearish trend, okay? So there's, so now we're at we're this new low here, we're consolidating. So let's go ahead and drop to a four hour and see what price action is doing. All right, so we're consolidating below this zone, All right? So it is, it's it's not super overextended or anything. Like it's it's consolidating just below the 38.2, just around the 23.6 area. So this is good. This This is really ideal what you want to see. You want to see some consolidation after a break you, are, you really want to see a, a retest with structure formation. So ideally, we're looking for short opportunities here. Uh, you know, the best, prob- highest probability trade here would definitely be a pullback into the 38.2 structure formation, some sort of transition here. And then we want to see lower highs with strong bearish setups that we can then short on. And then we can enter and target lower towards major support levels like the negative 27 fib level and potentially even lower. All right, so that's one thing that could, that's one you know scenario that could happen is pull back the structure, which is always ideal, uh, or we just get you know momentum steps back in, bearish momentum steps in, pushes price action anyway lower, uh, we get a lower high outside this range, and then it just keeps going until uh, you know we get another opportunity to form structure. So those are the two scenarios, you know, given where price action is right now, uh, if it maintains this bearish trend, that's what we're looking for. Okay, for us to consider bullish you know opportunities or a change of trend back into a you know daily bullish bullish trend we want to see a break of 95 flat so this monthly zone has to be broken again retested some sort of higher low above that zone uh, and then you could start looking for entries or uh, long opportunities and uh, but only until this happens we'll change our sentiment you know as long as we remain below this monthly zone we're very much bearish okay so Again, it's always good to uh, you know kind of jump on here, analyze, see what's going on with the dollar, uh, so you can kind of just you know get a better gauge as to where some of these other pairs are moving. So let's go ahead and jump over to AUD USD, first major pair, uh, very correlated with DXY. Inversely, overall, you are still bearish on DXY. Yes, one hundred percent. I didn't. I'm sorry, I'm not reading chat. It's, it's all good. All right, right, so. All right, word. All right, so I'm gonna I'm on AU here, zooming out. First thing we want to do is look at the overall trend. We have an understanding that this was very bearish, right? Huge, huge, uh, steep channel here. Uh, you know, we're getting lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. That's you know the definition of a bearish channel. So super, super bearish. Actually, we were bearish all the way until this monthly zone. This was our last lower high before Corona hit. Then it obviously this huge drop happened. It pulled back. 
uh, but then it didn't stop pulling back. It kept pushing up all the way up to this monthly, came back down and retested, um, formed some sort of structure here and then pushed higher through monthly, through the monthly, uh, confirming a transition from a daily bearish trend to a daily bullish trend. Okay, so now we're above that monthly. We want to zoom in on price action, right? We want to see what's going on now, what kind of opportunities are here and what we could, uh, you know, kind of spot as far as trade scenarios go. So let's just kind of update all this here. 719. Okay, perfect. So here we are above that monthly zone. Uh, again, this is like, it's a slight ascending channel. It's pretty wide, but um, you know, it, it's not, it's not just running in one direction. This is essentially just like picking up, picking up momentum and uh, getting ready to like make a much larger move uh, just above this zone. So we pushed above, we came back, retested, hit 60, uh, 61.8. Oh, that was back here actually, hold on a second. So we've been forming structure pretty much on this whole channel here, this whole ascending channel we've been forming structure. And right now, uh, after our last higher high was established, we're pulling back and testing the 38.2 once again. Looks like a bit of a pennant or a symmetrical triangle forming right now. Uh, so when this thing pops, you know, we're, we're going to try and get an entry with the trend here. So, you know, we're looking to buy. We're looking for long opportunities because the trend is so very clearly bullish. So honestly, from this point, you really just want to see a break and retest. A break and retest, getting above these two lower highs right here would be perfect. Uh, and then a retest somewhere in that zone as well, confirming a higher low uh, above these above these two low, uh, lower highs. So I think that would be absolutely perfect. Uh, that'd be enough confidence to enter a trade, target higher, uh, target about 150 pips into our negative 27 fib level. Uh, stop loss would be relatively uh, pretty tight. So over four to one risk reward on this particular trade. You could even kind of stretch it out and make it a V3O uh, if you want. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You don't have to choke the trade, but uh, either way, guys, great trade opportunity right here. We're kind of just going to wait on this one. A few confirmations away. So uh, those of you who are in premium analysis and premium signals, you know, get ready for this one, uh, as we call it, when, uh, when it's ready to execute. All right. So for us to consider short opportunities here, we need to see a break of 0 0.705, which is this large zone, this large blue zone down here, right? This was that monthly zone that kind of you know, determine the overall trend on the daily time frame, and uh, was in fact the you know changing point from bearish to bullish bias. Okay, so that's AUD USD looking pretty good. Let's move on to AJ. This one's popping up too. Look at this, it's popping up the zone, looking to make a transition, but a little bit of a wick. Excuse me. So we'll see what happens. Let's go to the daily time frame first. And we are zooming out a little bit. Okay, so this is a very strong, you know, bearish channel here. Super strong bearish channel overall, very, very bearish. And, you know, this is that kind of, that key zone that we just kind of talked about on AU. It had that monthly key zone that changed, that decided the trend for it, or well, that, you know, helped us determine where the trend is. Excuse me. And, uh, one second. Wait, one second. I gotta get a tissue. It's all good. So everybody that's in the chat, we got most of the people in here now. We're gonna do a giveaway today, so just put your Discord name in the chat to enter the giveaway. Let's see what works. <clears throat> yeah, so just put your Discord name in the chat. Obviously, you know, welcome everyone that just joined. Uh, but yeah, we'll get the giveaway going. Twenty-five bucks. Yeah, I know we got to get we got to get Nick's a Nick a box of tissues to uh, put next to his desk. Uh, but I somebody just send me some allergy medicine that works. That's what I need. We got people from all over right now. So yeah, let's get uh let's get back right. into it. Hell yeah! Thank you for the uh, you know filling in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good little breaks here and there. All right, so overall super bearish until this monthly zone, right? We're, until this monthly zone breaks, we're very much bearish, right? This is where the last lower highs were uh, before this corona drop, came all the way back uh, and kept pulling back a very strong four hour bullish trend. But unlike AU, we haven't broken this monthly zone. So, you know, it's at a very key level where it's gonna kind of like help us decide where this pair is going. So let's go ahead and drop to the four hour. 
and see what we can find on this time frame. Okay, so we have this giant ascending triangle, right? Key resistance being this monthly again, 76 flat zone. Uh, and it's kind of just hiking up, it's just squeezing price action. Uh, the range is getting more narrow, more narrow. Now we're getting all these higher lows uh, into this zone. So right now we have a ton of consolidation. Some of you guys are met, right, may recognize this as a head and shoulders pattern, left shoulder, head up here, also a triple, triple top. Uh, right shoulder could be forming right now, right? So that, that could be a familiar pattern here, but we'll see. Uh, or it could just be, you know, just ranging. And then once we get a pop above 76.3, uh, just outside this monthly and start getting some higher lows, uh, then we could start looking for, you know, long opportunities. But again, so the cool thing about this is where this is right now is we have two trade opportunities, uh, both depending on a break of the range, either to the upside or downside. Okay. So if we get a break to the downside, we want to see a break of 76, uh, 75.6 with some lower highs below that range. And then you could take a nice, you know, potentially we'll see how it plays out and the confirmations that present themselves could be a nice little short opportunity uh, into a lower support level. So we'll keep you guys updated with that. Uh, obviously we want to continue with the overall bullish trend. So this is this blue trade path here is our first, uh, you know, first trade scenario that we're looking to get into. All right. But it, hopefully this wick doesn't form, you know, that's not the confirmations you want to be seeing. You don't want to be seeing wicks at this level. You want to see good momentum pushing through. So we'll see how this one plays out. Uh, but for now, kind of got to just wait on those confirmations. All right, so that's AJ. Let's move on to UJ. Oh, I was doing a video on this one. Hold on. I was doing a video on stochastics. Just clear this up. Yep, yep, stochastics. I haven't used that indicator in a while. But anyway, all right, so here we are on UJ. Let's go ahead and zoom out to a daily time frame. Okay. Super, super bearish all around giant descending triangle. You guys should be able to see it right here. Very large descending triangle, lots of lower highs here at you know, each of these key levels here, these monthlies and weeklies. And our key support being down at this monthly zone at 106 flat. So that's really kind of the pivot point, you know, the deciding zone for us, uh, you know, to kind of find out where price action is going to go. So Let's go to the four hour and get a closer look. Okay. All right, so here's price action at that zone. It broke it once, came back, tested it, tested that zone and the 61.8. Didn't have the momentum here to push lower. I'd actually established a you know level of support right here. I pushed up higher to the 88.6, came back down. Testing that same level right at the 38.2, came back up, tested 61.8 again. And originally this looked like a really nice head and shoulders, right? So we had a nice push here, left shoulder, neckline established here. It's kind of on a slant, as you can see. Uh, you know, the head was up here at the 88.6, and now the right shoulder is forming at the monthly again. Now we did just get a push through the monthly, so that's obviously not ideal. You know, we really want to see price action closure below this level. Um, you know, to kind of strengthen the zone to show us that this is going to continue lower, but uh, it's not, it's actually pulling back. So, I mean, from where, where we are now, we really want to wait until we get a break back below this monthly with some lower highs, then we can start taking short opportunities. Uh, but until it remains, you know, as it remains between, you know, 106.75 and 106, I really don't want to be placing any trades because uh, I really want to see a break to the downside below this monthly or a break of 107.4 to then change my bias and potentially look for long opportunities. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. I pretty much just waiting on this one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be, I'm definitely bearish first overall looking for shorts. Uh, definitely because, I mean, this is just so clearly bearish. So, so bearish. It doesn't make sense for me to take any, any long opportunities until I see a major level break or, you know, at least some, major you know some higher time from lower highs get erased so that would be this 1074 handle all right so uh we'll keep you guys updated with this one we'll see how this plays out literally just want to see a break retest confirm lower highs and then we're in targeting lower towards major support okay let's keep going got ej for you guys daily time frame to start 
So overall, this was super bearish, very large bearish channel, right? And then we had this whole Corona spike and uh, a ton of volume kicked in on EJ actually and it pushed price action way up, uh, erasing a bunch of lower highs and uh, confirmed break. Of, uh, it was a confirmed break of this weekly zone around 121.25 and actually transitioned out right here. So it went from a daily bearish trend to a daily bullish trend once this move happened. Pushed up, came back, retested, confirmed this higher low, gave us another lower lower time frame little uh, transition here, and then took off. So this was the confirmation. This is now bullish. It's been forming structure pretty much as it's been moving uh, its way up. So we hit this monthly zone. Now it was pulling back a little bit. Let's see what the four hour means. Our four hour says. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little. All right, cool. So from here. Price action pushed up into this monthly zone, so we fibbed it, right? We're waiting for structure to form around this 38.2. Price action came back a little bit. Uh, it's kind of just giving us a you know, higher low just above this zone, right above 120, uh, 124 flat, which is right at this 38.2, and uh, now it's pushing up. So I'm still gonna say this is the, uh, the trade we're looking for. Really wanna see some sort of you know, pullback into structure here. Uh, this is this doesn't really have me convinced, you know, maybe some consolidation would be nice to see Maybe a nice wick to the downside and then a transition up would be good But uh, this one I think it I think it curled up a little too too early. So uh, Still waiting for structure to form We'll see what happens I'll let you guys know if this thing just pushes through this monthly then obviously we're looking for break and retests above that zone But the more conservative entry would be wait for structure. So that's going to be the ideal trade path for you guys Okay if this were to go bearish, I want to see a break and retest of 124 flat with some confirmed lower highs. So we need to get below the zone, drop, bounce, and then drop again. So we're looking to enter on that retest, okay? Uh, and then we're going to just target major support as, a, as we uh, see price action developing. All right, so that's EJ on a four hour. Uh, not really much going on here for this pair just yet. A little ways away from an execution. Let's go, to, let's go to gold now, guys. Last pair I have for you guys right now. Let's zoom out. Super bullish. Super, super bullish, guys. Nothing really has changed on gold. Uh, so let's go to the four-hour where we're experiencing a bit of a pullback. All right, so we got a pullback uh, to the 200 EMA, 50% Fib level. All right, came back up. Uh, transitioned right above this 38.2 zone but didn't have the, the momentum to establish a new high, right? So it actually just formed a lower high, pushed lower, back to this 38.2 zone where it's just been consolidating like crazy, so much just lack of volume. And now uh, we're a little bit, we're edging down, you know, just below this zone. So we could see this drop lower to a deeper fib level. Uh, if it does drop to the 61.8, we'll be ready for it. Oh, oh man. All right, so either way, we're looking to go long here. That's obviously the overall trend. Uh, but where we go long is going to determine, you know, our risk reward and how this trade plays out. So right now, it looks like we're, we're going a little bit lower. Uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, from this point, either price action drops, hits, hits a 61.8, and then gives us some sort of, you know, long entry opportunity. Or we get a quick transition of 38.2 right here, this zone. And, uh, you know, we'll look for long opportunities and confirm higher lows above that zone. All right, guys, so that was gold. Quick recap for you guys. I, did, I covered DXY, covered AU, covered AJ, covered UJ, EJ, and gold. All right, so I'm going to pass this off to Angelo. He's going to get into some of the majors for you guys. All right. Perfect. I can't hear you. What is up? You hear me now? Yeah. All right. All right. So put your Discord name in the chat, everybody. Um, I'm just going to touch on a point where, you know, right now things are pulling back, making moves into like daily structure. DXY is pulling up, you know, the resistance levels. And we got to be patient, guys. When we, when we can't see things as clearly as we'd like, 
that doesn't mean the strategy is busted. You know, that doesn't mean we need to look at a different pair. That doesn't mean we need to, you know, take time off the chart. That just means we got to be patient. You know, we got to be patient. We got to continue to analyze, wait for things to start to make more sense, um, wait for structure to form, like wait for us to break out of consolidation. And, uh, you know, take a, you got to wait to take a position you're, you're actually comfortable with, one that you're, you've tested, you've taken before. You know, don't start taking new positions, new ideas, new aggressive entries just because the market for the last day is in some sort of consolidation. You know, two days from now, things could be right where they normally are and you could see a position that looks, you know, wonderful to you. So just be patient, guys. Um, let's start with NU. Right here, let's start as always up on the weekly time frame, and then let's build our way down to the lower time frame. So, NU on the weekly time frame, these red boxes right here, these highlight previous lower highs that had formed. Um, you know, just looking at this lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, had this lower low, pulled all the way back up to um, this confluence area, this bearish confluence area. So, we had this trend line, we had this supply zone. We started to get some rejection of this area um, all the way at this high. And then, you know, we talked about not making any sort of moves until at least the four hour is broken. Um, so all the way down to the four hour, we we're definitely starting to see some lower lows, lower high, lower low, lower high. Now we're in this level, you know, we're looking to maintain these moving averages right here, but up to the daily. Um, just to reiterate, daily time frame right now is in a bullish trend, but we're in this pullback right now. So we got red over blue. You know, I'm really looking for this to come to our next support level in the daily, which is all the way down here, guys, all the way down here at this monthly key level. Until this is broken on the daily, daily is still bullish. But again, you know, someone asked this question previously, um, you know, if the daily is bullish, but the four hours bearish, the weekly is bearish. You know, the weekly is really where I'm letting you determine my trend. And then if the four hour starts to coincide with that, then I'm looking to ride that four hour trend into those lower levels. Um, and then all the way down, you know, to the one hour right now, we're, we're, we've been consolidating here for a, a minute. Um, we've been consolidating since, since all, all the way last week, you know, all the way last week, we've been consolidating around this level, had this push upward right here. And then we've, fell back through the moving averages. So I'm looking for this still, you know, to continue lower, still to head lower. Um, but, you know, we got to just be patient, see how this plays out, see how this hour closes right now. But NU, I am looking for this thing um, to push a little bit lower. If we end up breaking really above this level that we're currently at right now, if we end up breaking above here, um, then we will yeah, if we end up breaking above here, then we will look for some long opportunities. Um, so yeah, that's NU. You know, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Let's go over now to UCAD. Let's bump all the way up to the weekly time frame. Um, so on the weekly time frame, overall we are bullish. You know, we made this high, pulled back, but we're we're within a pullback. You know, we're within a retracement. Red of red is over blue. All the lower time frames, you know, are bearish right now. Um, but I just want to look at, you know, we have this demand zone on the daily time frame right here. And we also have, if we bring through this trend line right here. We're definitely at um, a confluence area right now. This is why we're seeing some sort of rejection of this area of like some support here. 200 day moving average of this trend line. As I go down time frames to the daily, you know, again, daily time frame, just overall looking at this is still very bearish. You know, red over blue all the way. Um, we're getting, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're finding some support here, double bottom in here, all the way down to the four hour time frame right now. Um, we were talking about this Sunday, you know, pretty much, pretty much before this all started to form. We had this analysis. We can, we can update this now though. Um, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at structure, made lower low, lower high, pulled back, you know, had this pullback. This is the next lower low. Then we made a new new low, pulled back, lower high. Right here, boom. You know, this is the lower high that is being tested. We rejected it once, rejected it twice. Um, pretty much for us to look for bullish opportunities, we would need to confirm a break of this level. So we would look for a break. Boom, and 
what I would do following that is as this breaks, I would pretty much get down to the 30 minute and I would look for that first higher low and that's where my entry would be. So we're either looking for a break of that level or we're looking for this to, to continue to push, you know, to the downside for me, for me to push to the downside right now to take it a short opportunity. Basically I would need to see a pullback here and establish a lower high. We just broke this level, this level of support that had formed. Um, I would need a nice pullback right here, followed by a uh, entry at the lower high, and then we'll go lower. So two opportunities right now, we're staying on both sides of the market. If this thing basically pulls back and then ends up breaking this level, we'll look for longs. If it rejects this level, we'll just short. And again, we're in this consolidation. You know, we're kind of just trading within this range. So if this does pull back a little bit, we will target this lower level boom we'll target that level stops depending on where we get you know the actual rejection of this level stops will be above the moving averages above this level you know we'll see we'll see how it comes in how it plays out um so that's UCAD kind of just being patient on this right now and we're really waiting for DXY to make its move um DXY is popping up a little bit but it's still overall very bearish. You know, four hour time frames bearish, daily time frames very bearish. And look previously, you know, we had this pop up and massive rejection, massive rejection again before falling off entirely. Um, so with this pair, you know, ultimately to really get bullish on this, we need to break above this monthly level, break above the 200 day moving average. You know, that, that would really be a telltale sign that this thing has a lot of bullish momentum. You know, at the moment, we're just in a pullback. We're in a retracement. We got to, you know, respect the trends. Um, if this thing starts to, uh, like, pull over, go through the moon averages, then we could see this UCAD trade go lower. If it continues higher, that's when we'll see UCAD go higher. So let's go over to USEF now. Um, USEF, let's start all the way up on the weekly time frame. Let's take these off so we can see the actual uh, price action. So... You know, what are the candlesticks telling us right now? We're at a low, a lot of rejection of this monthly level, you know, form this spinning top. Now we're starting to get another, you know, Stoji spinning top candle this week. Um, just, these are all just signs of reversal, guys, all signs of reversal, but we don't want to make our move too early. We want to be patient, you know, down to the daily time frame. still need to, still need to break this down further. This is just, what is this showing us? This is just showing us that we're bearish, you know, red over blue. Again, look at the, the previous candlestick formations we got here. Had this huge bullish engulfing here. We're getting these pullbacks, but down to the four hour, these are just retracements. Um, so we don't want to confuse ourselves too much. These are just retracements, guys. So we have this low, lower high, retest the low, lower high, new low, and then we just made another lower high right now, which is good um, because now we can utilize this. Um, we can utilize this because basically now what we're looking at is we need to either break above this level with a clean break to the upside, much similar to, to UCAD, guys, much similar to UCAD. We need to either break above this level to head higher or on the flip side, you know, we're starting to get a little bit of a break of structure here. 30 minute is definitely trending, trending bearish, made this low, lower high, low, lower high you know, right here. So <clears throat> could be a potential entry coming up on this um, to the downside right now. If we see some rejection right here, this is pulling back um, right now, retesting all this confluence, 200 day, 30 minute moving averages, everything like that. You know, if we see some rejection right at this resistance level up here, we could comfortably put our stops above the range and then we can target down here, this lower level. And we would just be continuing with the 30 minute, continuing with the four hour overall bearish, dailies bearish, so on and so on, even down um, to the one hour time frame right here. All I'm seeing, guys, in this one hour time frame is this is the lower high that was formed. This is another lower high that was formed. Um, so, yeah, you know, this thing could definitely head lower. We just want to be as patient as we possibly can be on it and wait for that right now, for that entry opportunity. 
uh, with this pullback. So um, if you were looking at this earlier on the 30 minute, trying to get in on entry opportunities, pretty much uh, coming off yesterday. So yesterday was the 24th. Um, say, say you saw this bearish engulfing here, then this, then this like bearish variation here. And you were already ready. You were already scat like looking, scoping for entries. You're ready to get in on this pair. You were, you know, your mind was made up that this was bearish. Uh, what would you have done? This would have been nice, nice clean break. And then where would you have entered? You would have entered on the pullback. So as you pulled back, this is a deep pullback here, but we started to get, you know, right here, we had this bearish candle come through. And this is, you know, as, as the live markets happen, and this is what I would be doing. This is, this is pretty much your entry, guys. You had the bearish engulfing through the moving average, pulled back, retested the moving averages, and then this confirmed it. Um, very easy. You know, this forms a lower high right here. And then I would have put my short position right there, stops above this level. And then again, we're targeting down to this area. And right now you would pretty much just be maintaining your trade. You would hit a little drawdown, come into some profits, you know, maybe you move your stops to break even, or if you're really confident, you're just continuing to maintain the trade right now. So that, that would have been, you know, first potential entry opportunity definitely could have been that moving average right there. And even on this pullback, as this then rejects this level again, you know, you could have entered on that as well. And that, that could have got you into a decent trade. You know, you would have ended up, up at least one to one if you wanted to secure that um, or you know continue to maintain this into two to one this thing does look nice this thing looks like it could continue lower um, you know lower time frame structure has definitely broken very similar to UCAD right now so we'll see you know we'll see with these let's go over to EU boom so EU up on the weekly time frame right now with EU. Let's just look at some candlestick, do some candlestick analysis. Overall, we did make a new high right now. Um, and we're getting these reversal candles. So Doji, you know, or not Doji, large wick. Then we had this like Doji candle, you know, bullish candle, low volume. And then we had this bearish candle, large wick. You know, so these are all signs of reversal here down to the daily. Could we start to be pulling back? We just dip below the moving averages here. Um, but to really get bearish on this, the four hour needs to break structure for us guys. Until this breaks, um, we are gonna continue to look to be bullish. And and that's just, you know, on this lower time frame, sure, on the third on the one hour, as this is transitioning, you could subside yourself to say, I'm going to short this until this level is met. Sure, you could trade against the trends like that one hundred percent. Um, but overall, you know, I'm more looking, the momentum when it kicks in is going to be bullish. So I want to get in on a buy opportunity. I want to wait for that, you know, opportunity, that situation. Um, so yeah, if we, for me, you know, I wouldn't wait, I wouldn't get in on a short opportunity until this four hour really breaks on the daily. That would be, you know, moving averages would be crossing, we'd really be pulling back. Um, looking to go for lower levels. So that's where I, what I need to break. On the flip side right now, you know, in order to get bullish on this, if I just bring on my fibs from my high to my low, look and see where we're at. We're retesting the 78.6. You know, we're kind of just within all of these fib levels. Um, if I look left, you know, we're definitely finding some support at this level right here. We had resistance, 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 had some support that was made here, found some rejection at that level here as well. So. We could bring this on as like a very, very minor key level. This is how we teach the support, like drawing support and resistance. Um, so what needs to happen right now for me to go long on this? Basically, we need the four hour to start to pull through the moving averages, very similar to these areas. Um, this right here, boom. And this right here, we need that break, that retest. Um, and if we go back to those levels, we can clearly see that either on the one hour or on the 30 minute in these areas, there are breaks of structure. So in this case, all the way on the one hour, this broke structure, we made this lower high, it made retest the low and we broke structure there. Boom, you know, 
even down to the 30 minute, the break would have came a little bit earlier. Um, so yeah, this was ultimately the break of structure here. Then we had the pullback. So entry could have been a little bit earlier on that one. And again, that was on the four hour, you know, breaking down when the four hour started to cross the moving averages. And again, inside the course, this is just a very simple homework example, you know, homework assignment um, that we do guys. We just make this, hold on one second. There's a very simple, you know, homework example that we, that we like we assign to everybody is moving averages crossing, break down the lower time frames. Where's the break of structure? You know, where would you potentially get in? So this is another one, four hour down to the one hour, you know, where do we break structure? Pretty much we break structure right here. Once this lower high breaks, that's a break of structure. And then even down to the 30 minute could have been a little bit earlier. This, or actually this one was retesting this level and then ultimately it broke structure right here. So just to reiterate guys, structure is not broken on the 30 minute and the one hour until that level is broken. And this little thing that we just highlighted, this variation on the four hour, that's just showing us on the lower time frame that there is a break of structure. Um, and we're just coming down here to confirm that. So going back to price action right now, you know, what do we need to see to get into that buying opportunity? You know, basically we need to see the moving average start to cross. We need to see the four hour pop up a little bit more and down to the one hour. What will that tell us? Basically we're waiting for this level. We need this level to break on the one hour time frame. Once this level breaks, and this is a solid level, we got the 200 day right here. Um, this would just be a very simple transition, you know, from lower lows and lower highs to higher highs and higher lows. So that's what we're waiting for. Boom, right here, wait for that pullback, you know, that retest, um, and even down to the 30 minute right here, it's the same, um, this would be the same thing right now. You know, we're looking for this level really to break, um, to be very conservative. So that's EU uh, to buy. We need to wait for a break of this on the one hour to sell. We need to wait for a break of this on the four hour. Very simple guys, very simple. So let's go over to GU. Let's start up on the weekly. Um, so GU is interesting on the weekly time frame. We are overall bearish, made this low made this lower high, retest this low. Now we're back up near this lower high right now. We're finding some sellers off of this level. So off of this monthly level, we're getting some rejection. These are definitely signs of reversal right here, but we need to wait ultimately for the four hour to break. Um, and the four hours testing right now, testing heavily. Um, this is a four hour higher low. We drew this earlier in the week. You know, this level really needs to be confirmed as broken. We're starting to, you know, we came to this level, um, didn't exactly break, but we're testing it, came up, came back down, testing it again. As I bump up to the daily, you know, I'm looking at the daily, and I'm waiting a little bit more um, for the daily to show us some more signs of like bearish. We did have these two bearish engulfings. We did have those two bearish engulfings right there, you know, down to the four hour. I wouldn't consider this broken yet. Um, I'm still waiting on this just because of the dojis that formed at the bottom here. I'm not trying to get faked out. Um, so basically, we're looking for one of two opportunities right now. I'm either looking for this thing to break lower right here, really break below this level that we have marked. We really have to break below this level and confirm that break. Um, and basically on the one hour, that would look like at this point, that would really look like a break of this level. So just adjust this a little bit more. Um, and again, I put it down to this level more because uh, just the median of all these wicks, the median of all these wicks, and then this right here, you know, obviously has shown some signs of, of being broken. Um, so we really need to see, I'm going to wait for ultimately the next lower low and next lower high to get in on this. I'm not trying to be early and get caught my pants down right here. You know, I'm trying to wait a little bit more, a um, little more confirmation that on the flip side, if we were to go bullish on this, um, because basically this is just testing a support level on the four hour time frame. If we were to go bullish on this, we, we need the same thing as EU guys. We need the moving averages start to cross very similar to here. We had the cross retest, you know, confirmed. And these are all buys. We got in on this all buys right there. Same thing here. We have the cross wait for the retest. You know, ultimately 
this thing fell lower, so we didn't get any entries. And then same thing here, we had failed cross and then crossed on this pullback. That's when we're getting it on entries, going buys. Um, and we're ultimately, you know, looking to push to that next higher high every time. So we're trying to get in on lower time frame moves, guys, and um, ride them into the higher time frames so that we can get good risk reward um, and just, you know, stay with the momentum of the overall trend. So right now what we would need to see on the, the one hour and the 30 minute, so we'll stick to the one hour because they're relatively the same, is we need to see a break above here. We need to see a break above this level. Um, we need a higher high to form. And then we need some sort of pullbacks on the four hour. That would be, you know, very similar to this. Very similar to this is in this area right here. If we go back, go down to the one hour and we look and see, you know, what went on in this area. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. First off, we had a break of this level all the way down here. So this was a little lower you know we had this lower high break higher high retest higher low first entry opportunity right there um, but if we miss that ultimately we had this new high form we had this pullback and then these were all entry opportunities right along this 200 day you know every time we bullish do a bullish engulfing through the moving averages guys um we're pretty much looking at enters so we had entry opportunity here you know entry opportunity here and we're just putting our stops ultimately below this support level or more conservatively, you know, below this level, but pretty much just below this level that's establishing right now. And um, again, you know, we're looking to get in on a similar position right now with GU, but we need to wait. We need to wait for that confirmation. We need this to actually establish a trend. Um, things are just consolidating right now which for you intraday scalp traders, you know, I know you guys have been getting in on the highs, getting on the lows, but we're just kind of waiting, waiting to see how things shake out. Um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of how we're going about it. So let me cover one more pair, GJ. So GJ actually already flew up, which is, which is interesting because GJ and GU definitely correlate very well. When did this happen overnight? So this thing actually flew higher. So on the weekly time frame, um, with GJ, overall we're bearish, but the last five weeks or so have been very bullish, you know, very bullish all the way coming up to retest this level down to the daily. You know, we've remained bullish on this, even though we've started rejecting this level, um, all the way down to the four hour, you know, four hour, we needed a break of this level, which we actually got, we got this break rejection. Now we're pulling back up. Um, so we'll see on the four hour, this needs to hold now this level up here. So as I'm taking a look at this on the lower time frame, on the four hour time frame, um, GJ showing definitely a break of structure on the, on the four hour. And if we start to get rejection up here at these highs, um, I could potentially look for some sort of, some sort of like entry opportunities, honestly, to the downside on this, because GJ is a little bit ahead of all these other pairs, but I'm not too high on GJ right now trying to trade i'm focusing on these pairs i'm going to get the analysis ucat and usef mainly we're going to get those in the premium analysis for you guys today we're going to try to get see nick drops of au yesterday we're going to try to get some entries out in the signals um today but we're going to be patient you know we're not going to try to to force anything um and then i just wanted to go back and reiterate we do have a little sale going on right now for the full course membership. Everything's included. Um, there's only five spots left now, I believe. Um, so it's 40% off. You guys get our full course, you know, for you guys that have questions, it's price action. You know, we trade with price action, top-down analysis. Same way we break down these charts is how we're gonna teach you guys in the course. Um, and then signals is included, one-on-ones, trading plan, everything here is included so if you guys are interested um, in getting in on this there's only five spots left it's 40 percent off it's normally 4.99 so definitely definitely take advantage um, of this and just shoot me a message you know if you guys want to get in after this we got nick here so if there, you guys have any last questions we're going to wrap up um the call now i'm just reading chat sometimes i get lost in charts but these live sessions give me perspective so yeah guys 
I mean, that's what these are for. These live sessions are here to, you know, provide value, show you guys what we're about, you know, be transparent. And, uh, you know, can you only imagine what's actually inside the course, right? Inside the community itself. So if you guys aren't in Discord or if you are and aren't participating, just go, go back through Discord, check it out, guys. There's tons of free stuff in there. Uh, you know, there's tons of other traders. You can ask tons of questions. Uh, but yeah, guys, keep keep trading, keep showing up, keep putting in effort. Uh, that's how you guys make progress, you know. And uh, you know, we'll we'll keep showing up if you keep, guys keep showing up. That's a promise. All right. So. Yep. Yeah, that's it. So, and if you guys are feeling lost, you know, what I'm saying it's still good to come on. Um, just surround yourself with the information. You know, if you're feeling overwhelmed, maybe take a step back. But you know, come into the sessions, and I'll say there there's going to be things maybe you don't understand at first but after a while things will definitely start to click and um you guys will be you know happy that you guys continue to listen and continue to pay attention even when you guys are struggling so you know stay at it you know as always you know be positive and um if you didn't drop your discord name in the chat make sure to drop it in there there you go Juan. you actually won i think the last one of the last ones um and uh yeah we'll be back at it again tomorrow Tomorrow morning, assuming everyone back at it again tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., uh, right before the session session opens. And, uh, you know, we'll see you guys then. All right. Take it easy, guys. Yep. Have a good rest of your day.